Last week, we took a look at two different shock pumps, the Defy analog shock pump and the Lazain digital shock pump. I chose the Lazain as my favorite shock pump out of the two, even though this is quite a bit more money. I think that the features that it offered were well worth it. That digital gauge is really sweet. But this week, we're gonna take a look at something that you can actually put on your bike and take with you. It's again, another battle against granite and wolf tooth. I wonder who's gonna win this time. So the two items that are going against each other are the Wolf Tooth B-Rad System Strap Adapter Mini Mount and the Granite Portal Edge Strap Mount. These two, I specifically picked them out to be able to carry an extra tube on my bike. So if I don't wanna have to carry around a pack, I'll have a tube in case I get a flat tire on my tubeless setup. Now these can hold other things, like they can be used to hold pumps, they can be used to hold CO2 cartridges or other bike accessories. Let's go ahead and start out with the Wolf Tooth. This is definitely the bougie version of the two, as it runs $25 for the mini mount. There's not a lot to these systems, which makes it really nice. They're really simple. This has a rail system on the back that will integrate with their B-Rad rail system that you can purchase separately. It will mount into a standard Bottle Boss setup, which is really nice. Now, the one thing that I really like about the Wolf Tooth is that the strap is really wide and it's made with a really durable material. And it does come with this really nice reflective loop that makes it real easy to grab onto and open up the strap. Now, being that this strap is really, really wide, I don't have any worries about losing the tube going down the trail. Now, it does have this really nice piece of foam that goes over to protect anything that you mount to this from the metal that you're actually attaching to your bottle bosses. There's really not a lot that goes on with these and that's what I kind of like about them. They're really simple, basic pieces of equipment that are actually really functional. Now let's go ahead and install this on my Marin. It's super easy. If you've ever installed a bottle cage on a bike, it mounts up the exact same way. We're gonna go ahead and mount this tube and then also put on the Wolf Tooth Master Link tool. I think this is a really good combination here that should work pretty well. Now I'm gonna put the foam pad down just like this to protect the tube against that metal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just mount this just like this. Let's see if this will go all the way around. Let's hook it through the hook and loop system and then just pull it nice and tight. And there we go. And that feels really sturdy. I don't think I would have any worries about this system falling apart on the trail. Now here's where I was mentioning, I do wish this strap was a little bit longer. It would be nice if it went all the way to here. Let's go ahead and let's see if the strap will fit around this tube instead of using the actual Bottle Boss mount and see if that's actually gonna work. I don't know that it's gonna actually be big enough, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Yeah, it's just, it's gonna be too short to be able to reach all the way around. It's, it's literally, let me show you here, let me turn this around. If I put this in here like that and pull it tight, that's the amount of strap that it has. So if the strap was an inch to maybe two inches longer, this would actually work. Being that this can hold a tube and a CO2 cartridge and even a tire lever if you wanted it to is really nice. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at our budget version, the Granite Portal Edge Strap Mount. Now this one doesn't have any extra systems like railings, like the B-Rad system on the Wolf Tooth. It is strictly made for your extra bottle bosses on your frame. Now this does come with a really nice wide strap. It is not as wide as the Wolf Tooth, but it's wide enough that you can actually hold your tube in just fine. The one thing that I do like about this one is that the strap is a little bit longer than the Wolf Tooth, so if you did not want to use this Bottle Boss cage, you could actually just wrap this around your frame and it would hold onto your tube that way. 
Now it does have a nice little rubber coating on the back, so you don't have to worry about it scratching up or damaging your frame if you choose to mount it that way. The Bottle Boss cage is really nice and lightweight, just like the Wolf Tooth. Now the bolt holes do indent just a little bit, so whenever you do go to put the bolts in for the Bottle Boss system, they will almost be flush mount, which is a really nice added feature. Again, with this one, there's really not much else to it. These systems are super, super simple. Being able to use the Bottle Boss mount or just use this strap on your frame is a really nice feature. Okay, let's go ahead and mount the granite system. Just line it up just like we did with the Wolf Tooth to the Bottle Boss mounts. Just like that, that feels pretty secure. And then of course we've got the tube that we're gonna try to mount. And then also why not go with the brand with brand, the granite tire levers. These are the ones that won the original budget and bougie in my opinion. So let's go ahead and see if these will fit with this tube. Oh yeah, there's plenty of strap here. This is really nice. Yeah, that's great. I wonder, I bet you I could fit a CO2 pump in here. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Oh yeah, that fits really, really well. Very nice. Now let's push its limits and see if I can add on my fix-it sticks with every single bit in this little case. I feel like I got a whole workshop on this thing by this point. You guys have never used fix-it sticks. They are a phenomenal tool to carry around with you on your bike. I can't believe, I can't believe that actually fits. That's really, really cool. That's, I don't know how this would ride. I'm assuming that it would ride just fine. Definitely want to test it out quite a bit, but that holds quite a bit. I've got complete fix-it stick pack, CO2 cartridge with the pump, the granite tire levers, and a 29 inch tube. That's pretty impressive. Okay, now let's see if we can actually use this longer strap with these little rubber ends here to attach the frame. So instead of trying to do it to the top tube like we did with the wolf tooth, because I knew that strap was gonna be too short, we're gonna even challenge it more and put it on the down tube, which is probably twice the thickness. Let's go ahead and pop this in here just like this and see if this strap will hold. Let's see if I can get the label right side up this time. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a long stretch. That's a big, pretty big down tube. Nothing like an e-bike down tube, but still pretty big. So I think we can squeeze this tube down and get it to fit. Oh yeah. Yeah, that fit on there really well. And that feels really secure. These aren't gonna come off. I also used a little rubber band that's holding my tube together to hold those on even better. But yeah, that, that works really well. So if you're wanting to just have a strap that will work quickly on your frame, the granite does a really good job. But this strap does not feel as high quality as the Wolf Tooth, which has me concerned about the longevity of this one compared to the Wolf Tooth strap. Now that you've seen both the Wolf Tooth and the granite and how they mount up and the different ways that you can utilize them, which one do you as a drop-in crew think is the best? The one that I'm gonna pick for the one that I would like to keep around is the Wolf Tooth. And the reason being is the Wolf Tooth is expandable with its B-Rad system. And I think that's pretty rad. But the granite is definitely really good. I love the fact that you can actually use that strap as a frame mount and you don't have to use the bottle bosses if you don't want to. But overall, the Wolf Tooth came back and won this battle against the granite. All right, drop-in crew, which one would you have picked? And let me know in the comments below why you would have picked that particular model. And of course, I wanna thank my drop-in crew pro members. All of you that have joined are all qualified for the giveaway. So you guys have seen three budget and bougie videos by now, and I'm gonna give away one product from each one of those videos. And if you're a member, all you gotta do is watch for that member video to drop and see if you won the giveaway. Let me know down below what you think of this series. Would you like to see more products like this compared? And then of course, if I do the review, I will be giving away some of those products to my Drop-In Crew Pro members. This has been a really fun series and I can't wait to bring the next one. 
I've got a bike that I'm getting ready to review, as you guys know. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one. Woo!